Wow, fat shaming from a fat person. Classic. Jiggly Caliente, body made wrong. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jiggly Caliente here at One Down, and I am going to be reacting to some videos that they have cooked up from either my past or what's going on right now. So we'll see, and hopefully it's nothing crazy. Jesus. I know you want this, and I know that you are such an amazing performer. So that was um, the ring's breakdown, even though BNP naman okay naman siya. Yeah, I mean, that was hard because I look at the ring as like my little sister. I kind of adopted her in as my chosen family. So when I found out that the ring is in the competition, like, I have to still be fair. And like, comparatively to the other girls, the ring's look didn't live up to the Filipina standard of being amazing and sickening. And all these girls are like, she's getting swallowed by them. And I felt bad, but I had to tell her the truth. And I didn't say anything bad to her. Aminin nyo, saka yung wig. Tapos, yung ano, when is an A-line dress ever sexy on anybody? On Kim Kardashian, an A-line dress wouldn't be sexy, okay? Just saying, facts are facts. It is what it is. Sorry, Turing, I love you, but the dress didn't fit you right. Love you. Did this. The best girl group from any franchise. Period. Boom. This is everything. These East Saint Laurent knockoffs that Eva's wearing are everything. In the city, it's me. Can't conquer. Age is just a number. Oh my God, is that Marina? I'm your Filipino winner. Like the energy in the room when they did this was everything. No, she's not breaking. <laughs> Hello, the Ligon! Yes! This, like, truly was everything. I'm the winning queen. Also, the good thing about this is now this has replaced Tala as the Filipino queer um, theme song. And now it is Pop Off Ate. And I'm so happy that they have finally changed it because it's been five years of Tala. Watching that just makes all the hard work and all the sacrifices from all the other Filipino queens that has come before them to see this come and for us to be one of the only Asian franchises for the world to have accepted and embraced Drag Race Philippines the way they have. Really proud of it and so happy for all the girls because also we have the prettiest cast of any franchise, period. On roads lead to this is the trailer promo video for Drag Race Philippines. And I was so proud to see this because like all the girls and Paolo look so cool, so amazing. I love the way they did this. So the theme was jeepney and it was just so cool to see all the girls in like their jeepney inspired outfits. What's the sexy? Oh. Libre. 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 Like nobody wants big bills in the morning. Dapat naman, no, bayad muna bago bumaba. Napakakapan na mukha mo pagka umalis ka na naman. Pwede mong takbuhan ka. Happy Amani Popcorn! Of course, the ring had to be the one with the food reference. Why? Which queen have you chosen? I'm so sorry that I have to send home. Manila. Okay. I love Manila and she is my sister through and through. But this was the best power play in Drag Race history. Because Manila was like on fire. Manila is my best friend and it sucks that it's her. But she was doing the best in the competition and they got rid of her. You know how they say, if you want to beat the best, beat the best. Well, she beat the best. The girls beat the best. They got rid of her. As soon as she tripped, and they were like, oh no, we are kicking you down. Yeah, they got her. Sorry, Manila, I love you, sis, but ooh, that was rough. 
Also, conspiracy theory, I also sometimes think that RuPaul like, low-key enjoys when she eliminates girls. I'm going to hell for that. And I'm so sorry, RuPaul, but sometimes I can just tell that it is, you are tickled when you have to send a home. You see? That, <laughs> that way she said, sashay away. It's like she enjoyed that a little too much. Not I love you, I'm sorry. No, bitches. <laughs> That's one of the best power plays ever on Drag Race history. This is the gag that got everybody. <laughs> oh God, me silky lip syncing. And both in leopard print. Okay, in every lip sync, you can tell when RuPaul is like feeling somebody because her eye is locked in on that person. And she is locked in on this big behemoth of a and the ice is still full. Like, the ice was still, like, solid. How? She has a whole bar in her bra. You know, I put up a good fight, though. I, I knew every word, every lick of that song. But I did the assignment. Silky had extra credit. So what people don't know about that part is when I was lip syncing, I started doing floor work. And then Silky started moving back. And I screamed loud. And I was like, Silky! because I thought she was about to sit on me. When something the size of a baby elephant is look like it's about to sit on you, you you're gonna scream too. Jiggly Caliente, BMW, body made wrong. <laughs> wow, fat shaming from a fat person. Classic. <laughs> I cannot. Latrice reading me from our season four reading challenge. Jesus Christ, my teeth. Oh God, Snatch Game Philippines is so good. Hi guys, my name is Rufa Mae Quinto, also known as Quinto Rufa Mae. Yes. Eva was so good. Go, go, go. Eva didn't look anything like Rufa Mae, but the boobs alone and the voice, that voice was just so right. I only knew that GMA was a president and I knew the whole, I am sorry, that part, but I didn't know all these references, but sh I was laughing the whole time. Ginago nila lahat ng mga celebrities in the Philippines like this. So what people don't realize is like throughout Snatch Game, um, Marina and Eva were working together. Like they were like lollying all their jokes and it was like landing. And then Silhouette decided to play the game with them. So literally they were all playing like this volleyball of like punchlines and it was landing left and right. And poor Vinyas tried to f with um, Silhouette. And what they didn't show you guys was all three of them attacked <laughs> Vinyas. And poor Vinyas, um, boy Bunda, didn't have a prayer in hell. I am sorry. I wasn't able to write anything. <laughs> I don't know anything. They were so good. Games, like, I certainly know how to snatch the presidency. Not once, but, but twice. On the bad <laughs> The game. <laughs> Bruno Mars rewrote his hit song, Blank on the Floor. Yes! <laughs> In my 41 years being alive, that's the first time I heard Tampalpuke, and I didn't even know that it was real, that it's a real flounder fish. So, in Tagalog, Ariel's best friend is called Tampalpuke. And if I could just say it in Tagalog, First of all, oh my god, where did y'all dig this shit up from? First of all, that bang and those teeth, thank god I paid the $25,000 to get them fixed. That still stands to this day. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng suporta ninyo sa akin through the years. I truly, my career would be nothing without everybody's support. So maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you guys for watching with me and reacting with me. Uh, so stay tuned. The finale of RuPaul's Drag Race Philippines is coming to an end. So sana manalo yung manok nyo. And uh, yeah, love you.